What is up, you guys? Officially reviewed here with the second Mac Cleanse review. The first one didn't have sound because of screen flow wasn't updated all the way and things like that and wasn't working properly with Lion. But now since I have screen, screen flow 3.0, it works like a charm. So I'm d redoing this uh, review. So let's get right to it. You can get Mac Cleanse for $8 in the Mac App Store. But if you don't have access to the Mac App Store, you can get it from... Uh, the CoinGo software website for twenty dollars. So let's just quit out of that, quit out of the Mac App Store, and let's get right to the application itself. So right away, I open up to the overview, and this is just tells you what needs to be cleaned, what is minor stuff like that. The about the app, favorite sets, so nothing of precious, um, precious documents get erased accidentally. Your activity log of your recent activities and what it has done. Schedule so it opens up automatically and cleans your Mac every once in a while or as often as you want. Scan and delete just scans your uh, Mac for unnecessary caches and deletes them. Purge locations. Caches so you know different caches that you can select so like an iCal cache, an iTunes cache, you know things like that. If you have the application installed, it will show the application icon. If not, it will show the standard application folder icon or something of that nature. Downloads. <laughs> Cleans out the downloads and different caches. Instant messaging logs, you know, things that you don't want. So I'll just go like that, go like that, select them. Logs. You can just uncheck all, check all. Miscellaneous things. Uh, recent file histories, trash, it can uh, automatically delete the trash every once in a while, and web browsers, so it can uh, delete uh, all this stuff from these different web browsers. So, and you can select the different parameters for these two. So, if I don't want, let's say, my site icons to be deleted, or my form values, or cookies or whatever you can just unselect that and Mac cleanse won't even touch them so let's just go back to scan and delete and click scan and it will be scanning my Mac for different parameters I set for it to look for and it found all these things and uh, approximately 13.9 megabytes of unused or unwanted junk on your Mac so I'll just go ahead go ahead and delete check and I'll have to type in my password for authentication. And just like that, it's cleaned. And it has to restart Finder every time. I don't know why. Can't tell you. Um, even if I wanted to. So the advanced clean section, it has app uninstaller because if you don't, if you put it your app in the trash, it won't uninstall all of those files associated with that application. App Slimmer, so it gets rid of the universal binary that makes it work for the PowerPC or other platforms that you don't need. Archive Cleaner, it just deletes files that are associated in different archives. Duplicate Finder, it just finds duplicate files and uh, deletes them. But just be wary because you know you don't want to delete accidentally something that's of value to you. So I'll just go through real quick and make sure you know nothing's getting deleted by accident. Language Slimmer, it will get rid of all the unwanted languages associated with Mac 10, Mac OS 10, sorry. Um, so basically, you know, keep the language that you're using right now, but the other ones, like, I don't speak Bemba, I don't even know what that is, so I just go ahead and delete it. Login items, oh, login items, you can add or remove login items, and you can f fix uh, broken login items or remove it. Secure erase, so files that are of sensitive material, you can just drop in here and all of it and its traces will be vanished into thin air. And unused files, it will just scan for unused files on your Mac and delete them. So this is a great application for $8 in the Mac App Store because it just doesn't scan and delete for like junk and caches. It also has all these different uh, different things like App Slimmer or language slimmer things that you would find in some freewares but some of the freewares aren't as good as this so guys please check out Mac Cleanse and if you use any other software that cleans up your Mac like clean my Mac just leave it down in the comment section below and say why you like it 
So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, see you later.